Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Item Edit plugin. Now this is a really fantastic and powerful plugin which allows you to edit any item in a variety of different ways and save your items so you can use them for later. You can see a few examples where I've got crazy laws and names and different potions with different enchantments and different coloured leather and banners and there's so much you can do. So let's just jump into it. If we do 4 slash IE that will show us all of the commands and you can just click on any of them which makes it a lot easier than typing them out. And let's start with this leather tunic. So first of all if we do 4 slash IE rename and then we throw in some format codes to make it nice and colourful and I'm just going to write something completely random so let's go with something with green and blue and there we go we've created a really nice name tag for it. Now what else can we do? Well we can give it a law if we want to. So you can do item edit law and either add, set, remove or reset if you're not happy with it. And let's go ahead and just add some really random stuff. So we're going to add maybe three different lines. Just type a load of random nonsense in and you can see if we have a look at it, we have some colorful lore now, which looks very nice. So another thing we can do is give it crazy enchantment. So if we do four slash IE enchant, we can choose any enchantment, even if it's not meant to work on the item and you can make it as powerful as you want. So maybe 20 crazy numbers like this. So we've got uh, Death Strider enchantment level 21. Now another thing you can do is actually hide various flags. So if you want to hide enchantments you can do this command and now it will not show the enchantments even though it is enchanted. And we can turn that back off and see our enchantments again if we want. So if we want to change the colour of any leather clothing we can do 4 slash IE leather colour and then three different numbers and this corresponds to the RGB value and you can see this is working like this and you can just play around with the different values. Now if we have a look at this banner I made earlier, not very good, I'll show you how to make a custom one. So all we need to do is 4 slash IE banner and we can add and it gives you a ton of different symbols and other stuff you could add to your banner. So you can choose whatever you want and then choose the colour of it. So let's add a diagonal cross that's green and then we can add some more stuff and make it look really ugly. So a top stripe that's yellow maybe and add that, you can see it updates. And one more thing, let's go ahead and find a skull and I think this has to be pink. And there we go. So if we pop this down, that looks awful. So let's take a look at how we would edit a potion. So if I just grab a mundane potion, which obviously isn't going to do anything right now, the first thing we can do is change the color of it by doing IE potion color. And then similar to the leather items, you choose three different numbers uh, for the RGB. So let's try maybe 02550 to get a green color. That looks pretty nice. And then what we can do is IE potion effect, and then let's go with add. And there's a long list here so what we need to do is choose the time in seconds and then the strength so let's go with 120 so two minutes and then a strength of 10 and there you go two minutes and it's actually gone to nine let's choose a different one so let's go with haste maybe so here we go we've got haste and for this one we're going to do 60 seconds so one minute and let's go with just two and if we have a look we have both of those in our potion and then if we were to drink it, we are going to get absolutely crazy speed and then haste too. So you can see you can absolutely go really crazy with this. So the other awesome thing is being able to save and retrieve items. So if we do either SI or IS and then save and then give it a value. So this is item number three. This will allow us to retrieve it later. Let's save that as item four. And then if we do SI and then give followed by the item and then the amount it will give us loads of those crazy tunics we made and if we do item four and two that will give us two banners that we created earlier so it's really cool that you can create these awesome items and then just save them and then retrieve them whenever you would like so here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.17 if we have a scroll down we have a list of all the different commands and their permissions and then if you need any help with the plugin you can contact them on discord or send them a message on spigger and i'm sure they'll be happy to help with any questions or concerns but if you need a server to host it on check out servermine.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time